being surrounded by microphones. Samsung is a bit more girthy. That's a lot thinner and that's a lot more girthy, which means if you're going to put it onto your stand, you want to use the original holder that it came with. Otherwise, you'll have problems uh, getting it fitted in. Kind of like a, a tight squeeze. You can use it like that, which I do like because obviously it's got its own stand, which is actually decent quality rubber feet. So it's like nice and it feels good. But if I want to put it here, I need to make sure to stay tuned. I'm going to actually do quite a bit of testing with this microphone to get you the best results in various formats. If you're using a camera, you can plug it directly into your camera. Wire, a, not special, but like a converting jack lead to a xlr you can even use it by a usb to your laptop or on your camcorder via the same lead so let me take you to a few sample videos so you can see exactly how i use it and how it sounds so you can see if it's good enough for you to use Let's see if i can give you a direct comparison via xlr i do have the xlr lead here because i'm prepared let me plug it in okay test one two three so right now you're listening to me on the samson microphone positioned similar distance away and it's on the boom arm without the little foam on it so now i'm gonna go away from the samson and come back to the behringer microphone over here let me put the little foam because it kind of gets rid of samson microphone plugged in while the xlr cable and going directly into my mixer I am noticing I've had to put it up a little bit higher in terms of the volume on my mixer board to allow me to give you the same kind of voice that I was getting from my Behringer. So if I go back to my Behringer, this is the Behringer. If I put the Behringer at the same volume I had this in terms of the dial, that's how long, how loud the Behringer would get if I was to use the same details there. But I normally knock the Behringer back a slight bit. So there you go. That's a quick comparison of XLR power. I'll show you one with the USB now. I've got a clip I recorded. I'm speaking into this now. Samsung Q2U for live streaming, podcasting, and even making YouTube videos. This might be a good option for you. Put some headphones on. You can hear the difference. Hopefully skip back a bit and see what you think. It's powered via USB. I'll do another segment where I power it via XLR. But you know what? We're testing this properly. So what I'm going to also do is use it via XLR mini jack. So, you know, the normal stuff you get like that. The plan is I'm going to put it into my DSLR camera and let you hear what it sounds like and plug it in and give you a view of the camera and see how that sounds. Okay, so right now I'm using the 5D Mark II. I don't know if I'm in focus or not because this doesn't have auto focusing, but I'm using this microphone directly plugged into the DSLR camera via the XLR to mini jack. It gives you an idea of how it sounds and if it would be worth you using this camera um, or microphone directly into your camera it could be a dslr or any other camera that has a mic because technically you can make videos using that mic directly into the camera you don't have to have a mixing board this gives you an idea of how it sounds and if it's worth you investing in this samsung microphone which does xlr mini usb to usb and also if you have this converter to a jack you can actually put it directly into your camera this lets you know how it sounds like i'll put it in the final clip so you can see it all together i also actually have another camera via hdmi so i might even do a test for you using this mic wire xlr to mic into a camcorder which is then plugged in uh, via hdmi to my obs recording studio so i want to get audio wire the hdmi so right now i've plugged this into my camcorder via hdmi to give you an idea of how it could perform so technically you could live stream with this microphone plugged directly into your camcorder via hdmi you get video footage that looks like this and audio you don't really need anything else do you that's like a great budget alternative to set up a live stream and you could have multiple cameras and so obviously there is another camera angle right now that's a dslr camera there then i'll come back to this camera and because the audio is going into this camera it syncs it to both cameras it's a good benefit okay so i'm hoping you found that useful that was a quick look at the microphone let me take you back to my playlist of microphones and testing